Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Dean of the USC Soul Price School of Public Policy, Jack Knott. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome. It is my honor to have each and every one of you here today at this momentous historic occasion. Thank you all very much for showing your support for our school and for being a part of this very special celebration. Thanks also for braving the rainy weather. I was on a phone conference this morning and one of the members of the conference said that in Chinese culture, rain at a celebration is fortuitous, fortuitous and brings a blessing. So that's the way we're gonna look at it. I'm so proud of our school, of what it has achieved, and what more we will accomplish together in the future. For the past seven years, I've had the privilege of serving as dean of one of the oldest and one of the most distinguished schools of its kind in the nation. We rank in the top 10 of among 269 public affairs schools nationwide, placing us in the top 3%. We stand at the forefront of scholarship and research that address the most critical challenges facing government, society, and communities everywhere. We house leading edge expertise in urban planning and real estate development, public policy and public administration, and healthcare policy and administration. Each of our areas of expertise in isolation cannot achieve what we achieve together. We define the term interdisciplinary and employ it to bring about enduring societal change. Our school has a simple yet noble mission to improve the quality of life for people and their communities here and abroad. Every day, our faculty, staff, students, and alumni tackle head-on critical complex policy issues and they plan and build communities and cities for the future. We address the critical policy issues of economic development, jobs, social justice, transportation, sustainable urban development, housing, health care, and poverty. We are also concerned about more effective governance and the role of nonprofits, philanthropy, and private business in making our communities and the world a better place to live for us and our future generations. In a remarkable way, these are the very same issues that Saul Price worked tirelessly to address during his lifetime. The more you learn about Saul Price's amazing accomplishments in business, public policy, and urban development, the more pride you will feel, with be have, will feel to be associated with a school that bears his name. President John Quincy Adams said, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. Sol Price was exactly that kind of inspirational vis visionary leader. Through this gift, we can advance our scholarship on major issues and our work in educating the next generation of leaders in government, in business, and in the nonprofit sector. We are very proud to honor his life and legacy. This is an historic moment for our school. The intersection of our past accomplishments and our future successes. Today is our opportunity to celebrate the great school we are and the even greater school we will become. A school that will build on its rich past and reach further in research, education, and impact to change lives, improve communities, and shape our world for the better. Thank you. At this time, it is my honor to introduce a very special guest who is here to help us celebrate USC President C.L. Max Nikias. C.L. Max Nikias became the University of Southern California's 11th president in August 2010. Uh, as important for me personally, he became USC provost and vice president for academic affairs in May 2005 just two months before he hired me as his first dean. <laughs> he is the holder of the Robert C. Packard President's Chair and the Malcolm R. Curry Chair in Technology and Humanities. President Achaeus also chairs the Governing Board for the Keck School of Medicine at USC. 
He has been at USC since 1991 as a professor, director of major research centers, dean, provost, and now president. He has set USC on a path to attain undisputed elite status as a global research university. His initiatives include recruiting a cadre of transformative faculty, elevating USC's medical enterprise, as well as the arts, the humanities, and social sciences, expanding USC's international presence, improving further the breadth and quality of USC's outstanding student body, and embarking on the largest fundraising campaign in the history of higher education. President Nikias is a visionary thinker and an effective organizational leader who inspires all of us to achieve great things. And we are very grateful that he is also a valued supporter of our school. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President Nikias. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Every time we have a naming ceremony that we name a school, it rains. Andy, this is for Dr. Viterbi. You remember in 2000, but going back to 2004 when we uh, celebrated the naming of the Viterbi School of Engineering. It was pouring that morning, but the rain stopped at 11 o'clock. It was raining when we named the Austro School of Dentistry, and it was raining when we named the Dorsife School. Do you know why? These are the tears of all other schools who didn't get the money. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you, Jack. And I also want to thank all of you for coming here to share in this very special celebration. We have gathered together to mark a moment of transformation for a school that enjoys a long and proud history. This school can trace its origins to the late 1920s, when a group of local government officials came to this campus with a request. They wanted USC to create a program that would teach and train the next generation of civic leaders and public servants. In 1929, just a few months before the beginning of the Great Depression, USC established what was then known as the School of Citizenship and Public Administration. At the time, it was the very first school of its kind in the western part of the United States. Even in its earliest years, this school attracted students from all walks of life and from all regions of the world. They came here, they came from here in Southern California and from as far away as Brazil and other nations. Over the last 83 years, this school has expanded its focus and changed its name but its mission has remained the same. While it is located at a private university, it is deeply committed to promoting the public good. In that respect, this school echoes some of the classical ideas found in the Republic of Plato. In this dramatic dialogue, he vividly imagined an ideal city governed by a group he called the guardians. According to Plato, the ultimate virtue for these future leaders of society was the knowledge of the good. He wrote, once they see the good itself, they must be compelled, each in his turn, to use it as a pattern for ordering city, private men and themselves for the rest of their lives. Today, we honor the legacy of a person who had a profound knowledge of the good and who used that wisdom to become a great man. In 1936, just seven years after this school was founded, Mr. Saul Price earned a bachelor's degree in philosophy from USC. Two years later, he received a bachelor of law degree following in the footsteps of his hero, Clarence Darrow, the legendary lawyer who spent his life passionately 
defending the rights of others. The son of Russian immigrants, Saul Price learned at an early age the value of hard work, the significance of education, and the importance of treating everyone with dignity and respect. With his impeccable character and a brilliant mind for business, he revolutionized the retail world, opening and operating a series of stores that provided customers with low prices and big savings. Today, he's admired around the world for founding Price Club, the retail giant that later merged with Costco. But Saul's lasting legacy is not limited to his spectacular success in business. Although his companies paid careful attention to the bottom line, he always put people at the top of his agenda. Guided by a strong moral compass and an intense passion for social justice, he felt compelled to find ways to lift people out of poverty and help them rise up the social ladder. Today, we look back with wonder at the way Saul Price's businesses, charities, and philanthropy have dramatically improved the quality of life for so many people here in Southern California and throughout the world. Although Saul Price passed away in 2009, his legacy lives on today. It lives on through the many lives he touched, the friendships he formed, and the family who carries on his values and his ideals. It will live on through the students, faculty, and alumni who will leave this campus to serve the world. And it will live on forever in the halls of the school that proudly bears his name. So ladies and gentlemen, before we make our official announcement, I would like to direct your attention to a very special video which honors the life and legacy of Mr. Saul Price. So let's watch the video. My first memory of Saul was as a little girl shopping at the Price Club and I remember my father, he pointed out Saul with some admiration and I knew there was something great about this man. I guess the thing that strikes you most is how dramatic he was and how dynamic he was. He certainly was the smartest man I've ever known in my life. My dad set an example of being a very hardworking person who had very high standards of integrity and justice. Saul Price was someone who felt that people who did well should give back. We'll always be very, very, very grateful to Saul Price. Saul has been here to help. He had a real social conscience and a sense of leadership and showed other entrepreneurs how to be a good citizen, a very special human being. Price Family Charitable Fund is a family foundation that has as its mission to improve society, particularly for people who come from less opportunistic backgrounds, which is the fund that actually is making the donation to USC for the naming of the school. We're very committed to working in that way, making a difference in communities, to help create a national dialogue around urban development, low-income neighborhoods, and social progress. And of course, President Nikias, a very able president of the university who made quite an impression on us. So it was one of those times when everything aligned. This gift is not only about advancing research and scholarship. It is about developing leaders who will stand at the forefront of social change. My father was a very complex man. He uh, was the son of immigrant Jewish socialists. They were uh, early supporters of the International Lady Garment Workers Union. My grandparents were both very active in efforts to improve the conditions for working people. And his value system, I think, was developed by the values that his parents had. You know, even in the earlier years, starting out in the merchandising and retail industry, he chose to take a path and launch a successful business 
that had a model that allowed for common people to have greater access to better pricing and better choices and better quality. You know, I was there in the very beginning at FedMart, and, and you know, it was the attitude that he had for taking care of his employees. But he also had that same feeling about the customers, that, you know, you give the customer the best break you can. The first store, FedMart store, was in San Diego, and it was a membership primarily for federal employees. And then the second store was in Phoenix. And the third store was in Texas, and this was in 1957. And Texas still had segregation. The company that was going to put the mortgage on that store refused to lend the money unless there was a clause that would provide for separate bathrooms for blacks and whites. And my father, he was courageous. He told them to take the, the mortgage and you know what to do with the mortgage. And they, they relented and, and removed that clause. I mean, anybody that knew Saul knew that there was an integrity, an integrity in what he believed in, and that he didn't sacrifice his principles. He truly cared. He was someone who rose, was a tremendous success, a self-made man who felt strongly that people who did well should give back. Good afternoon, Price Charities. This is Jane speaking. And I think that legacy of matching uh, private investment with a sense of public duty and obligation is what makes Saul Price a perfect person for whom to name the School of Public Policy at USC. The Price School is concerned with improving the quality of life for people in their communities. Uh, we do this through addressing some of the major policy issues in the country, as well as planning and developing better communities and cities for the future. We take an interdisciplinary approach to this that includes public policy and public management, as well as health management and policy, and urban planning and real estate development. This gives us an integrated, holistic approach to working with people in communities and the kind of issues that they face. And so he represents very well the kind of innovation, entrepreneurial spirit, commitment to social justice and urban development that characterize our school. Well, I think it's a great tribute. It will bring more attention to a less recognized aspect of uh, Saul's life. Everybody knows him as a successful businessman, but few know that he had wide-ranging interests in public policy. Saul Price believed that well-informed, well-crafted, enlightened public policy was crucial, was central. As Secretary of Housing, I had the good fortune to have Sol Price walk me through remaking an entire neighborhood, a poor neighborhood of San Diego, and virtually willing a portion of San Diego into redevelopment. City Heights is in the heart of San Diego, very unique and challenging, and very diverse and, and beautiful community. The approach that was taken to build and strengthen this community. It was very entrepreneurial. He brought together different disciplines, different cultures, so that the community could help each other. City Heights has definitely been changed forever because of Saul Price. I wasn't gonna be able to change the country and I wasn't gonna be able to change the state. I'd come to the conclusion I wasn't even gonna be able to change the city, so maybe I could change one little area interesting thing about his philanthropy was that it uh, expressed itself at the individual level, at the neighborhood level, at the community level, and at the national level, like through the Urban Institute. It was very tough-minded, whether it was about the tax code or programs and policies to help lower-income people or people suffering in uh, very poor or distressed communities. He felt everyone should have these kinds of opportunities and that there was something wrong if people were denied opportunities just because they were born into a family that was poor. The more the faculty, staff, and students learn about the life and legacy of Sol Price, he revolutionized the retail industry and was a pioneer in real estate. And I have to say one of the real passions of my father was real estate but he also had a strong commitment to social justice and urban development. Uh, we're very proud of him, and he has made an impact not only in business, but in the world. 
Saul's family is carrying on with the mission, the values, and the vision that Saul and Helen had. I feel that they are committed to elevating his work to a whole nother level. We are very thankful that they have invested in us to honor his legacy and carry on that legacy. The idea that this gift could take a school that already has an excellent reputation and provide greater resources and support to attract the brightest and the best students and faculty. We couldn't think of a better way to perpetuate what Saul had started and what Robert and the rest of the family has continued to elevate. Well, I think uh, the students at the school can see that an individual who came from very humble beginnings through hard work and very creative mind became a very successful businessman who then continued his interests in public policy and philanthropy. Saul's life is an affirmation, really, of how important public policy is and at its best how much good it can do. If Saul were here to advise students, I think he would say to think outside the box, to think for yourself, try to live your life in a way that would be exemplified by integrity and a sense of caring for other people. And always remember that, uh, you know, in the final analysis, you're going to be judged by the results in the long term, and you're going to be judged on how well you did to the total society, that you've made a mark in society. Beautiful video, thank you. Well, now I would like to invite uh, Dean Nott, Mr. Robert Price, and Mr. Larry Price to join me at the podium for a very special announcement. So would you like to? Robert and Larry, I want to extend my heartfelt appreciation to the entire Price family and to everyone associated with the Price family charitable fund for making this day possible. This gift will help cement the school standing among the most progressive and prestigious schools of public policy in America. It will help elevate the school's status both in the national consciousness and on the international stage. It will help extend the school's reach from Spring Street in Los Angeles to L Street in Sacramento to Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. It will help transform lives through the creation of the USC Sol Price Center for Social Innovation. It will help this school shape the future of fields ranging from public policy to real estate development to healthcare management. And it will help honor the memory of a great man who first graduated from USC more than 75 years ago, but whose spirit is still alive and well on this campus today. Now it is my great privilege to officially announce that thanks to this very, very generous gift of $50 million from the Price Family Charitable Fund, this school will forever be known as the USC Soul Price School of public policy. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Bart. Thank you, Art. So, I know, we all... <laughs> so, Robert and Larry, because we were so proud of this generous gift, we wanted to share the news of your family's extraordinary generosity 
with people around the nation and around the world. We wanted to tell the world that our school of public policy has a new name. And to do this, we placed advertisements in publications around the country, including the San Diego Union Tribune, the LA Times, the New York Times, the Chicago Tribune, and the Wall Street Journal. So Robert and Larry, we would like each of you to have your very own copies of this framed advertisement. I have one more gift, and uh, it's this one over there. I want everybody, all the audience, to see it, okay? And uh, at USC, we have a time-honored tradition of presenting special resolutions at important events. These resolutions are approved by our Board of Trustees, which then commissions an artist to design a distinctive citation and is truly a work of art. So I would like to read the text of this citation. So please bear with me. Whereas the Price Family Charitable Fund and its distinguished founder, the late Mr. Saul Price, stand among USC's most treasured supporters as their philanthropy and leadership benefit our entire university community while providing a particularly bold vision of assistance for individuals in Southern California. And whereas in 2011, the Price Family Charitable Fund endowed and named the USC Sol Price School of Public Policy, thereby cementing its standing among the most progressive and prestigious American schools of public policy, planning, and development. And whereas this outstanding gift also creates in the school the USC Price Center for Social Innovation, which focuses on revitalizing low-income neighborhoods, thereby honoring Mr. Price's strong commitment to challenging social injustices and reversing poverty. And whereas in combining academic rigor and practice-based expertise, along with first-hand opportunities for students and practitioners, this innovative center will forever benefit Southern California's urban communities with a special emphasis on the City Heights neighborhood of San Diego. And whereas this landmark gift marks a transformational moment for USC and its formerly named School of Policy Planning and Development, enabling the university to take the school to an even higher level of excellence ensuring that it plays an even more prominent role in its many fields of expertise. And whereas this gift will certainly have an enduring impact on society, as it will advance sound research and scholarship in the area of public policy, while also bolstering U.S.'s ability to develop future leaders who will serve at the forefront of social change. And whereas this gift has its roots in a very natural and productive partnership. As the missions of USC school and the prize charities are built on a common conviction, the positive societal change grows out of a holistic approach to social and economic issues. And whereas in addition to advancing USC's mission and bettering society, this milestone gift also honors the illustrious life and legacy of Mr. Saul Price, who stands among the university's most venerable alums, having earned his bachelor's degree in 1936 and his JD in 1938. And whereas this exceptional gift also pays tribute to the memory of Mr. Price's beloved wife, Helen, who earned a bachelor's degree from USC in 1937. And whereas Mr. Price brought tremendous esteem to USC throughout his professional career, having distinguished himself as a leader in business, in founding Price Club, the retail giant that later merged with Costco. And whereas he also became a luminary in the world of philanthropy, having established 
two foundations, the Prize Family Charitable Fund and Prize Charities, both of which continue to thrive and to improve the lives of individuals, families, and communities. And whereas the long-range impact of this remarkable gift is immeasurable as the Prize Family Charitable Fund's singular generosity, coupled with the compassionate vision of Mr. Price, will continue to inspire the Trojan family in perpetuity while remaining a big one for future students at the USC Sol Price School of Public Policy. And now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Trustees of the University of Southern California honors with the highest esteem the commitment and contributions of the Price Family Charitable Fund and its founder, the late Mr. Saul Price, to the well-being and continued vitality of the university and its mission, and proclaims its profound and abiding gratitude for their stellar support. Signed by Edward P. Roski, Jr., Chairman of the Board of Trustees, and by the President of the University. Thank you, Robert. Now to show our immense appreciation for the tremendous generosity of the Price family and the Price family charitable fan, I would like to present some very special gifts. So I would like to invite to the podium Robert's wife, Alison, Larry's wife, Gigi, and uh, Robert and Alison's son, David. David, you are the graduate of this school who graduated from this school last May, and of course has returned to campus today. And by the way, David, I can have your diploma reprinted with a new name. Jacket. I'm going to take this off. All right. <laughs> this Absolutely. But uh, here it is. Thank you. There you go. Beautiful. Has your name and the Beautiful. USC logo. Well, let me see. Uh, Not earned in sports, you understand. <laughs> Larry, this is for you. You can see their jackets with the USC logo and their names. So, so I hope all of you will wear these jackets with great pride, and I hope that they will always remind you of this joyous day of celebration. And it's not raining. <laughs> so now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the president of the Price family, Chari Dabofan and the son of this school's new namesake. Please welcome Mr. Robert Price. Thank, thank you very much and good morning. Uh, I would, uh, well, this is a, quite an emotional moment for me, but I, I would like to begin uh, by uh, thanking uh, President Nikias and Dean Knott for their wonderful remarks concerning my father and this gift uh, on behalf of my family and my colleagues, both on the board of our foundations and also um, who work with us on these important projects that we do. We are very grateful for your um, kind words and for, for our ability to be part of your family. So thank you so much. <clears throat> uh, 
I would also like to, to recognize a few people who uh, are very important in my life in terms of what the work we do, beginning with Sherry Berenbegi, who's uh, been, uh, she's my colleague and has been at the uh, absolute middle and center of everything that this gift is about and wouldn't have, this wouldn't have happened without her being involved and I thank you Sherry very much for everything. <laughs> and, and I'd also like to uh, really thank those of you who came in from San Diego uh, from either our Price Foundations or some of the uh, support uh, in our La Jolla office and I know that there's at least one Aaron Price Fellow here. Some of you may not know what the Aaron Price Fellow is. There's more than one. There are a number of them, I'm sorry. But some of them are alums and some of them, and one of them at least is a current fellow. Actually, and of course, my children are all Aaron Price Fellows. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, that's a youth program that was started in 1991 in memory of our son, Aaron, who passed away when he was 15 years old, and my father began this program in his memory. Well, uh, much has been said, so I don't want to repeat many of the beautiful remarks that were made. I do want to just give a little background on, on how this happened. Uh, as you know, our son David uh, graduated this past May from this school, and uh, we were here sitting in the audience, and uh, Many, many different diverse people were getting diplomas, but one, one particular situation really struck us. There was a young man and his mother, and I believe his mother is an employee here of the school, is that correct? They both received their diplomas at that ceremony. And uh, the award, particularly, I think her name is Carmen, but I'm not sure, yes? The award that Carmen received touched both my wife Allison and myself very much because obviously she was holding down a full-time job and working very hard to uh, uh, achieve her bachelor's degree. And as I watched this and uh, the ceremonies, my thoughts turned to my parents, of course, and the connection with USC. <clears throat> and um, what really struck me was that there was such a... Uh, unusually unique linking of the role that this school plays in policy and the things that my father cared about. So after that, uh, after that graduation ceremony, Dean Knott and I spoke, and he came to San Diego and we discussed some ideas, and then he went back to Los Angeles and he called me and he said, I'd like to come back and talk to you again. So he came back and he made the suggestion of naming the school. And um, that was a lot to take in, but, <laughs> but uh, we, we talked about it, and of course we visited with President Nikias, had a very nice visit with President Nikias, and uh, after much consideration, it became obvious that there would probably never be an opportunity to find this type of naming and way of honoring my dad. Now, you, you have to understand, I took a great risk in approving this. My father was camera shy and shunned publicity. And this is a wonderful ceremony today. But I, I don't know that he was not a terribly religious man, but it is possible that sometime in the future I'll see him again. <laughs> the, the, so I did this for you. <laughs> Well, that might be a good note to conclude on. I, at any rate, I want to thank you again. Thank you, President Nikias and the Board of Trustees and all of you who have made this possible. We look forward to a great partnership and the things we can do together. And we invite you to enjoy the rest of the day. Oh, one more thing. I want to thank the band. For, for me, I, I have to say, for me, one of the big highlights of this day is to be this close to this band, this marvelous band. Anyway, thank you very much.
Thank you so much, Robert. We really appreciate it. Um, on behalf of the USC Soul Price School of Public Policy, I really want to thank each and every one of you for joining us here today. Today marks you know, a great milestone for us. And thank you so very much for sharing with us in this wonderful celebration and being a part of this part of our school's history. The celebration will continue through lunch, so please continue on enjoying the great day. Thank you all very much.